what's up guys so um i wanted to give you guys a little quick video real quick um just wanted to check in with you guys hopefully my apu is not so loud that you cannot hear me talking but i'm pretty sure my voice is deep enough that you can hear me talking <laughs> but anyways um I just want to give you guys a good a little video and check in a little bit. Now I know he ain't done. He he got it after me, way after me. So he, he I know he ain't done getting unloaded yet. They better they better get it coming on. They better do something now. It's just the waiting for me. It's the waiting for me. But anyways, um, right now I am. It is about what time is it? It is ten oh six, and it is August the fifth, and I am in um, Sutherland, Virginia waiting to get unloaded you have to hook your i mean you have to unhook your trailer you have to park on the side of the building and um they will call you at this walmart distribution i'm, I'm at and they will call you when your loads um when your trailer's ready um whenever you whenever they get you unloaded but um, i just want to tell y'all in trucking you have to have patience patience is key when you're out here i promise you it is and if you don't have patience don't even don't come in don't even do it don't do it to yourself don't do it to yourself um yesterday uh not yesterday i'm gonna say two day, went tuesday um i had to drop off at graphic packaging and that morning they had sent me this load to come into virginia and um that was tuesday they sent me this load and i they, they said they uh i didn't have to get it here till um thursday which is today i'm like Virginia's not that far, you know. I was already almost out of hours when I was at graphic packaging. I had ran half of that day, um, but I could have ran some of that day, which was Tuesday, and ran the rest of the Wednesday. I'm like, look, they give me this load that ain't got to be here till Thursday, so it got to be some bull crap like, that's going to go on. That's going on behind this load. It's already knew what was going on, so got the graphic packaging. Waited there a uh, darn. probably about four or five hours got there it was already truck drivers there got there nobody came out uh waited about 30 minutes to an hour yard dog came get my paperwork we couldn't go inside the building so he came got, got our paperwork and um me and another truck driver had to go to the truck stop across the street so we had to wait there waited there about four or five four about four hours i say um came back over there he was telling me to bag into a dock they gave me a dock number and everything back into the dock there was only one dock Lots of truck drivers over there at the truck stop waiting to get unloaded at graphic packaging. So got got over there, waited about 30, 40 minutes to get unloaded. Um then I went like 20 minutes down the road to um this shipper. I forgot the name of it, but Jesus Christ. Got there. Um got checked in and everything. I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a dropping hook. It's gonna be quick. I see some Avery trailers out here. I'm about to get a, I'm about to, this is about to be a drop hook. I'm about to get in and get out. So um, <laughs> get, went in and checked in. Came back out. I didn't see no. There was no green light. There was no red light. No nothing. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. What's going on here? So. We um, I ended up going back in like an hour or two later. I'm like, look, I've not been touched yet. There's no green light. There's no red light. What's going on? And mine the right doc. She was very sweet about it. Now some of these people are very rude, just disgusting, have nasty attitudes. But she was real sweet. You know, she was like, um, yeah, you're, you're in the right doc. Cause I, I just felt I had a gut feeling I was not in the right doc. I'm like, they probably trying to figure out where I am. Where I am. I know they could probably find me to need you to have my number and whatnot. They trying to figure out where I am. I'm in the wrong dock. I'm like, Lord, let me go ahead and check. So I went in and checked. I was in the right dock. Um, stayed there. I think I waited. First time I waited an hour probably. Then I waited two more hours. I'm like, they still ain't touched me yet. Went back in there after I done watched the movie. I done ate a little, a, a, a couple snacks. I'm like, I'm about to go to exit this lady. And I, and I hate to bother folks. I hate to bother folks. I know everybody's busy. I know they're working and whatnot. So I went in I went in there and I was acting like I was going to get like a darn snack or something. <laughs> the whole time I was, I was in there trying to figure out what's going on. So I went back in there. 
got me a little snack, and I asked her. She already knew that I came in there for the second time. I waited two hours. I, I, I was already there three hours. So then she was like, yeah. Uh, I was like, so what's going on? I, I, I still ain't got no, no, no red light, no green light, no kind of lights, no movement, no nothing. Nobody let me know anything. Um, so what's going on? So um, she was like, yeah, you're, you're, I think you're next. So um, I went, I said, okay, okay, okay. I went back outside. I ended up watching another movie. Uh, I ate a little bit. And I, that, that was about two more hours. So I, I think I was there about four or five hours. I ended up running out of hours. I was going to drive at least two hours. No, I was going to drive. I, the plan was to drive three hours. It was a 10 hour drive. I was going to drive three hours to make it to um, Kingsport at, a ter at our terminal in Kingsport. I was going to try to make it there, then drive the rest of the way Wednesday, which was yesterday. But I ended up having it. I, I slept there because I ran out of hours. So I slept at the shipper. They had on site parking. I slept there. Got up at like seven o'clock the next morning. And I ran it hard. I think I drove about to Richmond. I think it was about nine hours and some change. So I ended up driving about nine to 10 hours yesterday. I ran it real hard yesterday. Um, I'm here right now. Got Woke up at six o'clock. I couldn't make it at 5.15 because the time was at 5.15, but I had to run it hard. And by the time I stopped, I won't be getting my hours. I won't be able to get my hours back to about 6.20, 6 o'clock. So I ended up calling them last night when I was heading in, I'm like, look, I can't make that five o'clock time. So I'm in up getting here, woke up at like six o'clock, got myself together, brushed my teeth, washed my face and all that stuff. I think I got here about 6.56 maybe. Um, checked in at like, you had to come around the building, so I checked in like, I'm gonna say in the building, in the building at like seven o'clock, but at the garage, I got checked like about 6.56, checked in at seven o'clock, it's about 10 and I'm still waiting. So, with all that being said, you gotta have patience. All right? Patience is key. Whether you at a shipper or receiver, whether you're in a traffic jam, it don't matter. You gotta have patience. But um, but yeah, um, this month, August the 20th, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, makes seven months I've been with Avery. Great company. I have no complaints. I know I always say that, but I just, I just, I, I, I I love to say it because I don't. I don't have any complaints about it. You know, they don't. They don't. They are. They're always on top of things. Any questions I have, they're there. Um, anything goes on, you know, they're, they're they're there. I mean, they're there. I mean, and and I know everybody. Everybody's experience is different. So you know, you may come over here, and you may have a little different experience. I mean, you may get a fleet manager that's not so great, but I mean. You can give it a try, but if you come over here or if you're thinking about going somewhere, you know, at least at least at least stay there six months, close to a year, if you can, you know. Um, because some jobs are looking for a stable work history, and you don't need to be hopping from job to job. I know y'all will be like, oh, they need it's a truck and shortage, they need truckers, they need truckers, they need well when you find that job that you really want and they require you to have some stable stable work history, and you've been you've been hopping from job to job every three, every two or three months, then it sucks to be you because you're not gonna get that job unless you know they just really need some help and they want to hire you but it's just it's, it's just good to um have some stable work history so you can fall back on that and be like look i've been working here such and such time you want this much experience but look i've been here for this amount of time could you work something out you know what's going on what's going on um and they will work with you but you know you just got to have that you got to have that work you, you got to have that work history you know when i say when i first started with avery they was they pulled up jobs that I haven't even started yet. I applied for it, but then I, I ain't even started the jobs. And they was asking me questions about that. But um, yeah, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna wait here and I'm gonna go about 42 minutes down the road, pick up a load at West Rock, and I'm gonna head on to North Carolina. Um, and we're gonna see what's going on. I hope I don't run out of hours before they get me unloaded because I'm gonna be very mad because most likely I can make it home tonight, um, which is Thursday. And they already got me a load. I told you when I said they be Avery be on it. They be on it. I'm telling you, they be on it. They be on it. I love my fleet manager. My God. My fleet manager, I have a great fleet manager. I have a great fleet manager. Me and him don't bump heads. You know, I leave him alone unless I need him. I don't bother none of the fleet managers. I don't bother nobody. That's how that's how you keep it. That's how you keep it cordial. Keep it cordial how you want to go about it. You know, if you don't need them, leave them alone. And just keep it pushing. But if you really need them, then you can talk to them. Whatever you got going on, let them know what's up, and then y'all work something out. But I don't bother my fleet manager. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to 
you know, I, I, I want to get to know you, but to a certain extent, you know, keep, keep it over there, you know, stay over there. I'm going to stay over here in my lane. I'm going to run this truck how I need to run this truck. I'm going to do my job. You, as long as you do your part, we're going to be all right. You know, it's good It's good to have a, a, a good relationship with your fleet manager or whatnot, but, you know, just keep it. Don't get too involved. And then, you know, y'all might bump heads and whatnot, but no, if I, if I need him, I call him and then, and, you know, what's up, what's going on. After that, click up the phone off. We, I'm rolling. You know, I don't need to. We good. We good off that. But um, anyways. I wish they'd hurry up because I can be getting home today and I don't have to go back out till Monday and Monday I'll be heading to Kentucky. So if you headed up that way Monday, about Monday, Tuesday, you might see me up that way. But uh hope everybody's staying safe out there, making this money, washing them dirty hands because <laughs> it's getting worse out here. But um anyways, if y'all got any questions, feel free to hit me up. If you want to know anything about Avery, let me know. Um, anything. Any questions you have, feel free. Whatever platform or social media you got, I'm pretty sure I got it. But um, just hit me up. If I'm not driving, I'm going to text you back just like that. But if I'm driving, it may take a little minute to get back with you. So just you know, just give me time. I'm going to text you back. But don't be texting me on no crazy stuff because I'm not going to text you back. All right? All right. But uh, we just playing a waiting game. You know, you rushing to wait. You all just rushing, then you get here and you gotta wait around. They give you appointment times, you get there at appointment time, and they take like five or six hours. But they rush you to get here, and then if you miss your appointment time, it's a problem. The shipper don't wanna take you and all that crap, but they make you wait around. But it's okay, because once that detention pay hit, we're gonna be all right. That detention pay hit after two hours, and we good. But, um, <laughs> anyways, I'm about to go back there, chill out, watch a movie or two. Eat some Subway, which is my favorite. Cause I got coupons, and that's it. But uh, until then, peace.